Hello fellow gamers, my name is Kairos Time, and today I'm going to be going over what I consider to be the best three strategy card games of 2016 for mobile devices. I'm here live with the new Pokemon trading card game champion. Congratulations on the victory. Thanks. You know, I just gotta thank my Pokemon. I couldn't have done it without him. Let's go to the Telestrator. Here, Brown attacks with a vicious Beedrill. What went through your mind? When I saw that, I knew I could school it with my Charizard. Oh, again on wrist cam. Wow, you got game. Yeah, it sure helps sound a fire breather on your side. The official Pokemon trading card game. It's hand-to-hand -hand combat. If you guys are like me, then you grew up playing Pokemon, and <laughs> I have got to say this year has been an interesting year for the Pokemon world as Pokemon Go came out. As it came out, I started doing a little bit of research and found out that Pokemon has an online trading card game. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about it, but I did not know. I wish that I had it as popular as it is now when I was a kid so that I could play it. It features a lot of great things. I love that it can be used or played by people of any age, really. The game is very simple. Um, and allows you to not only, well, okay, when I say that it's simple, it, it is complex, it has a level of complexity, but it's easy to play, and that allows anybody to play it. Some great features that uh, the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online has is an online trading system where you can actually trade cards with other players, you can battle other players, you can join tournaments and things like that. One thing that I love about it is that you can play it on your phone, you can play it on your tablet, then you, when you get home you can play it on your computer for even better graphics and things like that. It's a ton of fun guys, you should check it out. And it all comes down to this Stormwind Champion versus Ogre Brute. I'm feeling really good about Stormwind here. Whoa. Whoa. Am I seeing this right? Could be a scare tactic, Bob. Could be nerves. I don't think scare tactics work with ogres. Uh, you know from experience. Okay, well, let's not get into my personal life. Hold that thought. Looks like we have a substitution. It's Tinkmaster Overspar. This guy's a very technical player. This game's about nuance, oh, precision. Whoa. Whoa, that's Hearthstone. Play free on your phone or PC. Play the T for T. Obviously, next up is Hearthstone. This is a ton of fun to play, guys. If you haven't gotten into the World of Warcraft realm or anything like that, you should. this should be your first place to start. Really, it should be. Hearthstone is a lot of fun because it is really technical. There's a lot of strategy that goes into it. It does have somewhat of a learning curve to really get down and understand all the strategies and things like that. But you can build a ton of decks. There are a lot of different classes. Each class comes with their own spell. And you can play it on not only your mobile devices, but also on your computer as you see me doing right here. One of my favorite things about Hearthstone is the multiple mo play modes that are available in it. My favorite is the Tavern Brawl where you can get on and is a new, com completely different type of challenge and set of rules every week. It's a ton of fun, guys. If you haven't already checked it out, play Hearthstone today. These are the rules of the duel. The giant skeleton wears a silly hat, a backpack, and has a big underbite. Ah. You laugh at him at your own risk. <laughs> a most ridiculous duel, Clash Royale. It's no wonder that Clash Royale was nominated the best game of 2016, both by the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. My favorite thing about Clash Royale is that it requires so much strategy and fast thinking and yet the matches last no longer than six minutes at the absolute longest but most games are over by four minutes. This game is a ton of fun. If you haven't played the game, download it today. I highly recommend it. If you think another game should have been added onto the list, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. This is Kairos Time, ticking by.